Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. Now I've been asked by quite a few subscribers to show them a very easy, quick, simple palette knife tutorial as far as lesson is concerned. Now you can do this with a paintbrush, don't worry. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to be concentrating on a palette knife. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. And this is going to be a very quick um, study painting. I've been doing some study paintings lately. Now you can develop this idea and take it to a bigger canvas and alter different things in it. It's entirely up to you. Um, but I like to do these quick study paintings because um, I'm trying to show the beginner how to get involved in painting. So if you've never picked up a paintbrush or a palette knife before, this is the place to be. Okay, thank you very much. And let's get on straight to the colours I'm using. I've got some Prussian blue. I got some ultramarine blue. I got some mid mid red or cardinum red, mid yellow or cardinum yellow. I got some black, some white, and I got some of my thickening gel. Um, quite a number of you have actually purchased this, and I'm going to show you because you've asked me, Clive, can you show us again how to use this? Now, this is available at www.clive5r.co.uk shop. Go in there, look for the thickening agent, and that's the stuff that you need it certainly is okay so very very quickly then let's get some ultramarine blue a little bit of white and mix that together with your palette knife there you go and then get another little bit of that there get some more white make it slightly lighter there you go I'll have to put some more white on my palette, I think. Let's get some more white. So mix up a color cu couple of colors. That looks quite nice. Now this is going to be quite a, a an abstract type of abstracty type of painting, a bit more. Um, it's not so detailed then. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit of kitchen roll. I wouldn't say it was abstract as such, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Get a little bit of that thickening gel just on the on your palette knife and just mix that in. Watch how quickly the earth goes thick. Look at that. Wow. Be careful you don't use too much. If you use too much, it goes a little bit thick. I use a bit too much there. So just get a bit of moisture. There you go. That's um, my medium mix that I use to stop the underbinding the paint. So if you want to purchase some of that as well please pop along to www.clivecliart.co.uk so let's use a little bit less into this color only need about a pea size only need about a pea size okay that's good picking that up picking that up i'm going to put that onto my mixing palette there we are you don't need to do it you can use you can go directly off the wet palette if you want to but i just like i just like the noise and I'm just going to scrape that in. It's as simple as that. Away. Get in all nice and thick. Get in there. Don't worry about the canvas showing through. It's not important. This is very, very quick, easy lesson for you today. Just to get you to used to playing with a palette knife. I'm going to pick up some of that lighter colour on the palette knife. There we go. I'm going to mix that in, blending that in together, blending it in together like that. So you're painting with a knife basically. And don't worry about those little lines, a little bit of canvas showing through, that all adds to the effect and it all adds to the the paint in itself it looks nice and raw and that's what we want okay so where's my bit of kitchen paper I'm just gonna clean my palette knife off there you go I want a bit more white let me get some white there I'm gonna add a little bit of my thickening paste to it A 
I'm mixing it on the on the wet palette because I got the camera on it. It's easier for me to show you that. I'm just going to take a little bit of blue to it. And now I'm just going to put a few clouds in. Because we're doing a seascape today. Just put a few clouds in like this. Just put a few clouds in like that. Oh, Molly's having a go today. She likes barking at things, I don't know. We were in Boo in the garden earlier and they were... I'm sure they were chasing a little bird or something, love it. But what do you do with this nature, really? We can't really stop anything when... Especially when cats are involved. <laughs> they got a mind of their own. They have. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of white in here and there. Just on the very tip of my palette knife. There you go. Just to make it look as if it's a few clouds. Just a few. Doesn't matter if it's thick. That's what it's all about. That's the effect you're going to get. Anyway, so just a few little stragglers up here, there, and there. There you go. There's our clouds in. So, um, I've, lo I I've lost a lot of weight. Look, I'm positively thin. I've lost um, over 30 pounds in weight, actually. Um, I've been on this diet. And uh, not for any other reason except the fact that I just wanted to get happy and healthy and mindful. And talking about happy, he um, healthy and mindful, there is another YouTube channel that I've started. It's called Clive's Healthy Living and Mindset. So the link is in the iCard there. So please, please plop along there. And if you haven't already done already, please support me um, because I want the channel to get up and running. I'm going to be doing some kitchen recipes in there, um, some dieting recipes, some just general mindful things and talking about. I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to be going out on my bike because I cycle a lot now. And um, I'm going to be sharing those trips with yourselves as well. We're going to be looking around all these different areas where I live and other places because I've got a rack for the back of my bike. Now I'm just mixing some paint up as I speak. So um, I'll be th I can take you around all these wonderful places and we're going to be together Then we can be taking photographs and coming back into the studio and then coming over to Cloud 5 Art then and we're going to be turning them into lessons. So yeah, if you want to see where my inspirations are coming from, um, just pop along to um, that channel. It's in the iCards as I said, the link is there and it's in the descriptions. Please subscribe and you won't miss out on my vlogs and my excursions. Okay, so I'm going to pick up um, some Prussian blue. I'm going to put some of that on my palette as well. I was actually thinking about um, maybe putting the odd little excursion uh, onto this channel as well. But I think it's easier if I keep them both separate. And it gives you the opportunity as well then to jump back and forth each channel. If you want to sit down one evening, mix in a bit of ultramarine blue to that now. If you want to sit down one evening and watch me paint, then you can watch me paint. If you want to sit down one evening then and watch where I've been on my travels, um, then you can do that on the other channel, which is quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to put in a line like this. Now you might be thinking, Clive, that's not straight. No, I don't want it straight. Because I want it to be different. This is a seascape with a difference. This is a seascape with the sea running downhill. <laughs> I just want it to look different. And if sometimes different is good, sometimes different is bad. But until we actually try, we don't know. So I'm going to... Mixing a bit of this white now to that ultramarine blue. That flies back. It buzzing around my feet. I hope it is a fly. Yes, it's a fly. I mentioned um, the other week about some... Um, I mentioned the other week actually about uh, wasps and things. And somebody said, we got black, uh, black and red wasps over with us. These sound enormous. These sound absolutely enormous. So I'm just going to mix them in into that like this.
bringing that down there like that. That's different, isn't it? Getting some of this Prussian blue now. Art, to me, is a way of expression. Art, to me, is what you see as an artist in your eyes. Now, this is a quite a simple, basic um, type of uh, painting that I'm doing, and this is a study. This is not a painting that is going to be finished. This is a study painting which, which can be taken on to, as I said, a bigger canvas, and even changing some aspects. So, um, I'm asked sometimes why uh, why do you you don't seem to be improving with your artwork and stuff. But I I, I don't I. The, what I what I try to show is there's no point in me trying to show you um, a perfectly detailed painting that's taken me five or six hours to do, which I've speed speed painted, or sped up on the computer. And you are not going to get in any. Um, you're not getting any benefit from that because you, you don't see exactly what I'm doing, and I'm not sharing any techniques with you. So this is what I try to do: is I just want to inspire you. I I just want to inspire you to just to get creative. And this is um, what I normally do in my own time: um, is is I sit here sometimes and I just play with different things. What if I did put that horizon on an angle? How can I counteract that? You know, what can I possibly do to make this painting look like a seascape but be um, quite abstract in, in, in its form? That's how I look at it anyway. So, let's see. Let's get a little bit of... I'm going to get a little bit of yellow into that blue now. That's a Prussian blue that I mixed. got a nice green nice dark green I'm gonna also gonna get a bit of black now to that side I'm gonna get a little bit more of my thick gel paste there you go now because I've got an angle going that way I want to put an angle going that way like that Now this could be the the river, uh, not the river. <laughs> river? I'm nowhere near the river. What are you on about, Clive? This could be the the bank or the seashore, or it could be it could be even a, a cliff edge or something like that. You can see this quite thick and gloopy, which is what I want. That's just giving me an idea. Perhaps I could scrape in a few. Things like that, couldn't I? <laughs> okay. Now we have got the sky, we've got the sea coming down. Now, what I need to do now is clean my palette knife off and I'm going to get some white paint like this. On an edge, can you see that on the edge? Because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drag across some white paint like that. It doesn't matter if it's lumpy. There you go. And that's got to got a bit of contaminated with the with the blue, 
but we'll have to put some brighter white on that in a second I think for the moment we can see that it looks like possible stormy weather on the horizon put some bright white in there in a second so we got that stormy looking type of sea there I'm going to scrape all my colours off my palette clean my palette knife off I'm just going to give my palette a, a little rub like that I need some white paint so let's put some white paint onto the palette there you go get some more of this thickening gel adding that to that I'm purposely going to make this slightly thicker and the thing is with these what you've got to remember is just enjoy it I'm just gonna put some foam shapes on bright light plonking it on like that ni nice and rough so it looks like that see look at that isn't that nice do you see what I mean can you see what I mean I hope you can I hope you can okay so now what we got to do is think about um, grass so um, again wiping my brush off um, my, my palette knife off I'm gonna get some yellow there I'm gonna get some ultramarine blue to that I'm gonna make a nice lightish type of green let's get some more yellow I'm gonna get some of my thickening paste again into that paint okay and now I'm just gonna touch the part like that just touch because that green is going to contract that, that blue very very quick easy type of study which you can take on as I've said and I keep on about it I, you, I, I said you can take this on to different levels so we've got a bit of green going on there let's just now get a little bit of yellow and just touch in maybe just a few little bits of yellow like that and we can get some red because we haven't used the red yet again get some red now these could be poppies or something like that so we need to put some red in very very quickly and easily like this just to pick up a few maybe flowers or something like that and there you are there's one easy, very quick, simple palette knife paint. And if you've never used a palette knife before, give it a try. Just whap the paint on. Have fun. That's what I say. Don't forget to click my the, the cards there for some lessons and um, the link to my new YouTube channel. Please click and click subscribe down below. There's a link over there for Patreon or the shop. And over there is another lesson that I'm sure you'll be interested in. So please give it a try and just have fun. There you are. There's my take on a wonky seascape. Bye.